That, that didn't work at all. Hi folks, welcome back to the Bike Tube. This is part two of our three-part series on how to build a wheel. My name is James Bougeot, and you are visiting thebiketube.com. Well, probably YouTube, but <laughs> oh well. So, let me go ahead and throw on my glasses. These are my safety glasses. I do not need corrective lenses, people. I have better than 20-20 vision. But I like to keep it safe. I'm going to wear these continuously through the video. Okay, now you have your rim, you have your hub, and you have your spokes cut. If you don't, then go back and watch part one, and that'll kind of get you primed and ready to go. So, if you have all those things, stay with me, keep watching. Let's take our rim for a minute. Now, spin it around until you see Oh, ooh, there it is. You're going to see an odd, an odd spot in the holes, right? It's like, oh, there's an extra hole. It's in the middle. It's a deal. Well, that's obviously where the valve comes through from your bike tube to pump it up. So that's where you're going to use as a guide. It's going to help you kind of keep track of where you are along the rim. And you're just going to use the, the hole right next to it, right here. So here's my, uh, here's my other hole. And here's where I'm going to start. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Now, to set up the, the hub with the rims that, or sorry, to set up the hub with the spokes, you're just going to take this, these guys, and you're just going to start dropping them in. One, every other hole on the, uh, on the hub here. So, I put one in here, I'm going to skip one, and go right in here. And I'm going to put these in all the way around the hub. And there you go. It's like uh, some kind of modern art decoration. Now, just pick one. And then pick up your rim. And then go ahead and stick it right in the one that we talked about a little earlier. So you're just going to put it on through. You're going to take a nipple, the brass nipples that we talked about earlier, and you're just going to screw it on the top. Just thread it in a little. It's like a few turns. You don't want to over tighten it. Just be kind of, you know, a few threads on. Okay? You got to keep things loose in the beginning. Otherwise, this is going to become a daunting task. Believe me. So, now, we're going to go around the rim and count three. One, two, three, and put it in the fourth one. Okay, so you're just grabbing the next spoke over, and you're going on to the fourth hole. And we're going to do the same thing. Take your nipple, go ahead and screw it on a few threads. Go ahead and grab the next spoke, count three. One, two, three, and put it in the fourth hole. All right, so you can see I'm putting it in every fourth hole. And there's three in between each spoke. Can you twist it a little bit this way? Show us, show us the space between the spoke. There you go. Okay. You see that? Sort of? Boom. Okay. Something like that? Okay. Nice. So again, we're just going to continue all the way around the wheel like this. Yeah. And here we go. We've arrived. It's even. It's even Steven. This thing's right in the middle. There's three holes in between each spoke all the way around the wheel. Okay, so that's how you start. Easy. Easy peasy Japanesey. Alright. Cool. Next deal. Next thing. We're just going to start on the other side. And we're going to do the same exact thing we just did. Here's where you got to pay attention though. Okay, this is key, because if you don't do this right, you're going to end up threading the wheel wrong, and you're going to have to take all the spokes out again, and you're going to have to redo every single one of them, and that's why you're watching this video, so things like that don't happen. Okay? So, you'll notice when you look down, right down one of the holes inside the hub, 
And the holes don't line up exactly. They're one after the other on each side of the hub. So when I stick this one down into the hole, it doesn't land on another hole, it lands in between two other holes. Okay? Can you get a close up of that? Yeah, let's see. Can you see that? Ah, uh, hold on. Oh shit. So there I went. I stuck it in. It didn't land, like I said, it didn't land inside a hole. It landed right in the taint. Right in the middle. That's gross. You're gross. <laughs> okay, and uh, so there you go. Um, and that's what we want. All right? So go ahead and drop that guy in. You see, it's just behind this spoke. And here's that, here's the hole where my fingers are. This is the hole where the, uh, where the, the tube flange goes in, right? Not the flange. The, um, the valve. The valve, thank the valve you. Stem. The valve stem goes right in here. Okay, so that was our guide hole again. Okay, so we're coming in just behind that spoke, the hole just behind it. Okay, so that one's going to go there. And we're going to start there. And again, you're just going to drop in spokes every other hole again. Okay, so same old deal. And they're going to end up just behind every single spoke we had in on the other side. So we're just dropping them in. So there you go, get a close up of that. Alright, so you can see my spokes are dropped in every other one. They're lined up just behind the other spokes so that they're, uh, they're just going to tuck in the holes right behind them. Very nice. Excellent. Okie dokie. So we're going to start again. Here's that valve hole. We're going to start right there. And you're going to bring these puppies in. behind them. Sorry, the hole just behind that one. Okay, and here, since it's kind of stuck in there now, here's where you're gonna have to like use your dexterity or you're gonna drop that nipple in and you're gonna, this is where your your flathead screwdriver comes in handy because there's actually a little space on your nipple to use it. Like I said, just a few turns will do. And then you're going to follow with the next spoke. Can you show us the top of one of those? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to take your nipple again and you're just going to drop her on. And there's a little space in there before the threads start so that you can drop it in and it's snug before, you're, uh, before you start turning. So is this a uh, righty tidy? This is a righty tidy deal. Same thing as any uh, any old deal except for plumbing. All right, so you can see. Here's our wheel, right? It's begun. It's beautiful, and all the spokes should look, you know, the same amount of threading kind of sticking out underneath each nipple. In and that gives you an idea that you're, you're threading this thing right. Because they should be even. It should be an even distance between here and here for each spoke. Um, okay. So, now you can see the progress we've made. We have half the spokes in right now. So, half on each side. And they're all the spokes going inward and then up. 